Hello NEET MDS aspirants. Today we will be discussing all about oral and maxillofacial surgery. We will be focusing what to study, which are the areas to be focused and which are the chapters which are not supposed to be missed during our preparation. So basically it is all about the analysis of previous papers and the trends. Dear aspirants, as you know that oral and maxillofacial surgery is a clinical subject. So basically the case based scenarios questions will be given. It is subject is related with lot of other subjects, interrelated subjects like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, general pathology, general medicine, general surgery, radiology and oral surgery itself are part of same question. So lot of overlap will be there. The general trends and the syllabus tells that every year 14 to 15 question comes from oral surgery. So basically 12 to 15 can come with plus or minus one or two questions. So now to begin with which all topics and chapters are at the top priority and how you should go for it. So basically first and foremost you should be well aware with a topic called principles of surgery. In the topic principles of surgery you should basically focus on principles of incision, principles of flaps, principles of suturing. So all the in and out about this principle you should be aware of. Coming to the local anesthesia, here you should be aware of the neurophysiology, then the role of adrenaline, the composition of local anesthesia, maxillary nerve blocks, mandibular nerve blocks and the more emphasis is given on complications of individual blocks. What is open mouth technique of LA, what is closed mouth technique and the complications are again local complications, systemic complications. So Bell's palsy, in and out you should know and coming to the systemic complications, what is the effect what you see when diglocane is increased in your blood levels. So what is the CVS effect, what is CNS effect, all the tables are there you should be well aware of. And not only this, the local trends, the latest trends also you should be aware of like the computer assisted local anesthetic device, the WAN techniques. Next coming to medical conditions, lot of questions are asked on medical condition, a patient is on aspirin, what all you should take precautions, up to 75 mg what you should do, if a patient is taking 100 mg of aspirin, what you should do and what precautions you should do. Then a patient is having orthostatic hypotension, patient is on steroids, patient had myocardial infarctions. So all these things you should know in and out. Not only this, the antibiotic prophylaxis. What are the medication to be taken one hour before the procedure? So lot of MCQs and questions are based in and around these areas. Next coming to exodontia. So basically the indications, contraindications are very important. Not only this, the complications of exodontia where the dry socket is the area of prime interest. If you see the previous papers, lot of questions are there in and around dry socket. So the dry socket and its mechanism and what all medications you do, you should be aware of that. Also in exodontia, you should be aware the order of extraction. What are different chair positions? What is rubber band extraction? What is Stobie's method of extraction? So all this aspects in and around extraction you should be aware of as well as the instruments, the elevators, on what mechanism it works, what principles it works, what is the mechanical advantage it carries, wheel and axle principle, wedge principle, lever principle, all those principles of elevators also you should be aware of. Coming to impactions you should know the classification of mandibular third molar, next comes your war lines. And the most important in impaction is your Peterson's difficulty index. So a case scenario will be given and you'll have to find the index whether it comes under mild, moderate or severe category you need to find out. As well as you should be aware of war lines and then warf assessment is also very important. So each aspect of war assessment you should be aware of. So basically this extraction or exodontia and Impactions together if you club along with local anesthesia, it accounts for 30 to 40 percent of OMFS. So other subjects, other topics are also important, 
but they have their own individual importance. This particular three, four topics club together accounts for 40%. Then coming to cystic tumors, you should be aware of what is mass supplication, what is enucleation, what is Valdron's technique, what is PAS1, PAS2. When it comes to tumors, basically the management aspects. In the management aspect, a tumor involving the lower border of mandible and not involving the lower border of mandible, what is your treatment aspect. Then when you go for incisions and the flaps, what is Weber for use in incision. So all those things you should be aware of. Coming to TMJ, the most important area to be focused is ankylosis, unilateral versus bilateral ankylosis. Again, a case scenario will be given. A child of such and such age came with such and such clinical features. What is your diagnosis? What is your treatment plan? So Caban's protocol also you should be aware of. So what is gap arthroplasty, interpositional gap arthroplasty, all those things you should be aware of. What is arthrocentosis, dislocation, management of dislocation, you should be having a very good knowledge on that. So as I already told medical emergencies, so emergency drugs also, you should be aware in which condition what needs to be given. In syncope, in diabetic coma, in angina pectoris, myocardial infarction, adrenal crisis and the list goes on. In which all conditions, what drug is given, what is the mode, whether it is IM or IV and what is the dose. So a basic knowledge is very, very important on this aspect. Next is oroantral fistula because this is a more clinical subject. So clinical based cases are given. So oroantral fistula, which are the particular tooth which are more prone to go into the maxillary sinus. And then how do you manage oroantral fistula? So what are the different tests to know that a fistula has happened? And what are the flaps, palatal flap, berger flaps? So all those things you should be knowing about. Coming to maxillary sinus and diseases, again, you should know what is FESS, F-E-S-S -S, and maxillary sinusitis, is clinical features, all those things you should be aware of. And the next important topic where a lot of questions, image based questions are asked is instruments. So starting from your basics, that is your BP handles, blades, forceps, then it goes for your retractors your dental elevators and then rose disimpaction forceps, bristos elevators, you should be very well aware of. Giggly saw, so like that you have to identify the instrument and you have to know what it is used for. So the most volatile or you can call it the major cream of fractures is the one, fractures. So in the fractures, you don't have to do an elaborate study. The way you prepare for undergraduate course you don't have to study for post graduation entrance exam like that. You should have the basic knowledge of everything. So starting from the mandibular fracture, mid facial fracture, condylar fracture. These three fractures you should know in and out the basic guidelines. So what is Leaford 1 known as, Leaford 2 known as, Leaford 3 known as, the clinical features. And when it comes to the management, you should be aware of primary survey. That is the primary survey and secondary surveys are there. So what is A, B, C, D, E, chin lift, jaw thrust, you should be aware of this. What is golden hour, what is triaging, what is the medical management and then the definitive management, your reduction, fixation, immobilization. Again, indications, contraindications, you should be aware of. Also in mid face fracture, you should be aware of Campbell's and Trapsnell lines. Whereas coming to mandibular fracture, Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis favorable and unfavorable fractures. What is Coleman sign? What is Gurian sign when it comes to Leaford 1 fracture? So all these important signs and the clinical prominent features you should be aware of. Next coming to space infection, tergomandibular space, a very hot area where a lot of questions are generated almost based on the location, the boundaries and the structure passing through. So the classification of space infection what is Lincoln's Highway? What is dead space? So all those things you should be aware of when it comes to space infection. Image based questions can be of anything in oral surgery. 
right starting from the tumors, instruments, fractures, impactions, extractions, anything can be asked. So, you should be having a fair idea about image based questions and lot of practice needs to be done. One more area which every year questions are asked is Ludwig's angina, especially whether it is unilateral or bilateral. What are the clinical features and the antibiotics and the management of Ludwig's angina. TNM staging and grading again holds a very important place in oral maxillofacial surgery. TNM staging and grading. Osteoradionecrosis, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, extremely important, especially hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the Marx protocol, what is one dive, what is the atmospheric pressure used, how much is the percentage of oxygen, everything in and around hyperbaric oxygen, osteomyelitis and osteoradionecrosis also is hot topic. Then come to grafts, you should be aware the graft is a common topic which again you will be discussing in or studying in periodontics. Then comes your implants, again it is an overlap between prosto, surgery, perio. Now, dear students, so these are the few topics out of so many which are repeatedly seen in your question papers. So first thing is you should have a good knowledge about the overall view of the oral surgery and then go into details of the topics which I have discussed. So how to prepare now for oral and maxillofacial surgery? First and foremost, in the Eden2 app, all these classes, all these topics with high yielding facts, image based questions are uploaded. So go through the lectures and the sessions of individual topic wise in the Eden2 app. First you have to learn and then you have to prepare. You should have a correct discipline towards studies. Then comes your practice test papers. So this practice test papers, you have to do daily test series, weekly test series also will be there. You have to attempt as many test series as possible. But during your initial stage of preparation, do not go for so many test series because the motivation will go down. Once you have equipped with so many subjects, you have done at least five or six subjects, you can take individual test subject wise series, but not the overall grand tests. So first and foremost, have a mental preparation. You have to be very well convince yourself that you have to study seven to eight hours a day. You should have a structured timetable and the deadlines has to be met perfectly. There has to be a discipline. Follow the deadlines. Attempt daily and weekly test, subject wise test and then Whenever you are reading an MCQ question, you have to read it three times. Basically, you have got 240 questions in 180 minutes. So it is not even one minute per question. So it accounts for almost like 45 seconds per single question. In this 45 seconds, you should read the question three times and work out with whatever you have studied an answer and then go and see the options. Then only it, your work becomes very easy to find the correct answer. If straight away you are reading the question once and seeing the four options, there is a tendency to go blank or get confused. So always read the question three times, think of an answer and try to take out or dissect the correct answer from the wrong ones. Then towards the end of your preparation, you should take the national mock test exams which is there in Eden2 app where you will be getting your scores, you can compare your scores with the rest of the students studying in across India. So that will boost up your confidence level. So in order to get the maximum score in oral and maxillofacial surgery, the topics what I have discussed, please go through them once and practice as many MCQs as possible. Thank you.